We've been working with a lot of clients that are relocating or moving from another state and coming to the Central Texas area. Lately, the big question we've been getting is about Temple, Texas. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about what it would be like to move to Temple, Texas versus what it would be like to move to Austin, Texas. If you want to know more, stay tuned. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel living in Austin, Texas. My name is Jay with the High Ground Realty Group and I'm a licensed agent here in the state of Texas. Love making these videos for you guys, but what I love more is when you reach out, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends, doesn't matter, love to hear from you guys. We'd love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. That being said, let's get this thing going. So Temple versus Austin. Let's start with number one. Number one question we get and number one thing people notice is the home prices. If you're gonna be moving to Austin, you can expect to pay a higher value or higher premium for living in Austin or close to it. Uh, the further away you get away from Austin, the less expensive the homes are gonna get, but that doesn't necessarily mean the quality is gonna drop and that doesn't necessarily mean you're not gonna get a nice home either. Uh, you can go head into Temple and that area, Belton and all that, and you'll definitely be able to find some nice, decently priced homes. Um, the same home in Austin is definitely going to be costing you a little bit more. Well, I say a little bit more. In some cases, a lot a bit more. Uh, it just depends on which part of Austin and which part of town you're in. Uh, one of the things about Austin is it's got a lot more suburbs around it that's considered part of the Austin metro market. When you get into Temple, it's definitely going to be a little bit smaller. I mean, just the population difference between the two cities is significant, uh, but also just the growth and how much explosion has gone on with that over the last couple years. Austin definitely has grown a lot faster and it still is growing a lot quicker than the Temple area. Austin metro area? Yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Another big difference between the two is the job opportunities. Naturally, when you're into in a larger area uh, with a higher population, there's gonna be more job opportunities. If you're moving to the Central Texas area and you plan on working in the tech industry, you might wanna go somewhere towards Austin because there's a lot more of that kind of stuff going on. Um, there's tech startup companies and all kinds of big tech companies that are building and adding on and just expanding. Um, if you're going to be in the medical field, Temple's kind of known for that right now. Baylor Scott & White is huge in that area and they've got a lot of opportunities for jobs. On a side note though, and this goes along with the tech, I know I just said go to Austin for tech, but Meta, Facebook's parent company, is going to be building an $800 million data center in Temple, Texas. So if you want to go work for Facebook or Meta or Whatever, however they're going to advertise that, I'm not really sure. But if you want to go work for them, there will be opportunities there as well. Another key difference between the two cities 
is going to be that big city life versus that smaller city life. Uh, Temple does have a lot around it. There's a lot, plenty to do. I mean, if you wanted to move to the Temple area, you're definitely going to be able to find things to do. You're definitely going to be able to find like parks, movie theaters, shopping, all that kind of stuff. You're going to have that stuff in Temple. But when you get into Austin, it's almost at another level in comparison. I mean, you've got 6th Street. That whole area is just filled with bars and restaurants. And not to mention, Austin is known as the live music capital of the world. And there's a reason for that. It's because they have over a hundred live music venues in Austin. So if you're gonna come out to this area and you're thinking, you know, I don't, you're, maybe you're coming from a big city, Austin might be a good place to start looking. Uh, but if you're looking to get away from that big city feel, Temple might be right up your alley. So back to that city life, that big city life versus the smaller city life, along with that other factors to consider is going to be kind of the pace of things. When you get into Austin, you're going to have a lot more congestion, you're going to have a lot more just stuff going on everywhere. I mean, you drive through Austin, you're going to see things all over the place. That's all you're going to see is just buildings and people and buildings and people and cars and you guys get it. Um, in Temple, it's going to be a little bit more low key, a little bit more relaxed. You're going to be able to kind of enjoy well depending on who you are some people really like the hustle and bustle and that's their thing but if you're looking for a more low-key relaxed you got some open spaces around you still um temples in that whole area in temple and when i say temple guys i'm talking about temple belton salado nolanville harker heights so that whole area it's kind of all lumped together and with austin it's like austin liberty hill georgetown round rock kyle like i'm encompassing it all when i say georgetown or uh, can't talk today guys when I say Austin versus Temple so when you consider that lower key low pace you know like easy going Temple's a great option for that if you're after that boom everything going on all the time Austin's your jam Another factor to consider when you're moving, trying to choose between the two areas, if maybe you've got kids trying to consider schools, uh, make sure you guys check out the ratings on niche.com or greatschools.org and read about them. Uh, definitely a lot more choice in the Austin area. I mean, bigger city, more schools, of course, that just goes hand in hand, right? But um, as far as like sports programs and things like that, you're going to find some good ones in both areas. But in the Austin area, you're going to find much larger, like say the, the high school football programs, they're going to be a lot bigger, they're going to do a lot more with it just because of the f sheer fact that it's big. So one of the similarities you're going to find between Austin and Temple are the fact that both areas have some quite a few parks. Uh, if you're into outdoors, either area is going to suit you well. Um, closer to Temple, you're going to have a couple lakes out there as well. In Austin, you're going to have a few more lakes, but they're generally going to get a lot more crowded because there's a lot more people around, right? So if water sports are your thing, either place will go. Uh, if you're into the hike and bike trails and you like being outside, both places are great for that. Lots of big parks in both areas. 
Um, it's in, in this area in central Texas, it's just, just about every city has some pretty decent parks in it, so you can't go wrong with either choice on that one. As far as nighttime entertainment or daytime entertainment or anytime entertainment, I guess you could say, um, you're definitely going to see a difference between Austin and the Temple area. You're going to find some similarities as far as what they have, but Austin's just going to have a lot more of it. Um, you can go down to 6th Street in Austin, which personally I don't typically head down there that much these days. Uh, I did maybe 10 years ago, kind of got older. You guys, yeah, I don't want to age myself here, but um, definitely not my scene anymore, so to speak. Um, but you can definitely count on the fact that Austin's going to have a lot more going on. They've got the big South by Southwest event every year. They've got Austin City Limits music venue concerts. They got Circuit of the Americas for the car races, the Formula One car races. And they also have a, uh, I think they hold other events there. I've heard of concerts at Circuit of the Americas too. Um, you got UT, so the football games. You've got basketball games. And, and not to say that you can't attend these things if you live in Temple, but just know you're going to be driving about an hour, maybe a little bit more depending on traffic, to get to these things. So if that's important to you and you want to live close, oh, I forgot to mention the soccer team. Austin's got a professional soccer team too. So if sports are your thing and you really, really, really want to be close to that where you can just kind of go when you feel like going this Saturday, go to, let's go to the football game. Um, Usually I gotta buy your tickets in advance though, side note. But uh, you guys get where I'm going with this. If that's important to you and that's part of your lifestyle, you're probably gonna wanna be a little bit closer in towards Austin. Another factor to, co to consider comparing the two, uh, the proximity to things. So for instance, if you live in Temple and you need to catch a flight out of Austin, you're gonna have quite a hike. Uh, you can, living near Austin, you might have a little bit of a hike too, but that's not gonna be mainly distance-based, it's gonna be mainly traffic-based. So yes, it can take you a little bit longer to get to the airport these days, um, but if you travel a lot for work or if you travel a lot for pleasure, uh, just know that the Austin airport is, I mean, it's, it's, it's in Austin. So if you're living in Temple, you're looking at at least an hour to get there. Uh, definitely something that you want to keep in mind if that's important. Side note, the clients I work with that move to the Temple, Belton area, they tend to keep everything that they do in that area. They don't want to come to Austin. They don't want to drive in there for anything. The only thing they really come down for is maybe a trip from the airport or sometimes, you know, like Georgetown's not too, too far from Temple. It's, it's drivable. It's doable. Um, sometimes Georgetown will offer a little bit of an escape from the norm if they're trying to get out, but typically I don't hear from my clients going into Austin for anything. Um, as far as living in Austin and going to Temple, I don't think I have any clients that do that. So when you look at the two areas, they're definitely going to have a different feel to them. There's definitely going to be some key differences between them. And it's definitely one of those things you just got to ask yourself, hey, do I want to live in Temple where it's more low-key? Am I in the medical field? Am I wanting to work for Facebook? Whatever it is. Do I want to buy a bigger house for less money kind of thing? Or do I really need to be in Austin? Do I need to be around Austin? Um, i got to have my, my football games on the weekend. I love to go to all the concerts and the Formula One races. When it comes down to it, you're just going to have to decide which fits your lifestyle a little bit better. Maybe some of it's necessity. Maybe some of maybe you, maybe you travel a lot for work. So Austin's going to definitely be a area you want to consider. But if you guys have any questions at all, give us a call, text, email, nights, days, weekends, doesn't matter. Would love to hear from you. Love to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. 
Again, please subscribe to the channel, tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified of future content. Smash the thumbs up button for me. With that being said, remember we got your back when you move into Austin, Texas. Until the next time, catch you later.